by asking basic questions about the world around them. And we'll be up to our players to determine who's got it going on and who's a few bites short, bits short of a bite. I'm not a computer guy. And speaking of players, let's meet him. Hello, Aaron. <laughs> but we got Courtney also. Lovely Courtney. Don't forget Courtney. <laughs> now remember, it's winner take all here on Street Smarts. The winner takes the cash while the loser loses their stash. Now let's meet the three people they'll be making snap judgments about. I began in Los Angeles where I bumped into a nutty professor named David. David, why don't we tell everybody out there who uh, you do impersonations of? Oh, I do impersonations of Jerry Lewis with the Mahatma has the whole thing with the Mahatma. <laughs> so what are some of your hobbies that you have, David? Uh, I collect a lot of uh, movie and TV memorabilia and uh, Jerry Lewis memorabilia in general. Now, I understand you met Jerry. You were on the telephone. I did the telephone. I did the typewriter on the telephone. And I met Jerry afterwards. Wonderful guy. Really nice guy. Really, a lot of fun. Hi, <laughs> the... Hi, the have Hi, the thing. The high thing with the schnitzel. Where are they? Donuts glazed. Glazed donuts with the one, the hole in the middle with the... to Marcella, who proved she's no Top Gun. So, Marcy, where are you from and what do you do? I'm from Indiana, and I'm a registered nurse. You're an RN. That's it, baby. Okay. If you could marry one famous celebrity, who would it be? Tom Cruise. Oh, why Tom Cruise? Because he is cute. Right. Okay. <laughs> What's your favorite movie? Top Gun. Top Gun. Right. I feel the need, the need for? Sex, baby, yeah. Rock and roll. The need for speed. Yeah, doing the speed to speed to. Okay, all right. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Finally, I flew to New York where I schooled Cisco in the art of self-defense. Cisco, what do you do here in New York? Work, well, I work out, do martial arts. I mean, can you better this kick? Ah! <laughs> Cisco, you, you, you can't be happy about the thong song. Come on! Just, just, people go, hey, sing that thong song. Yeah, yeah, they always want me to sing the thong song. Yeah. I, I would kind of hate that song. I love that song. All right, it's time to play a little game we like to call Who Knew It? We ask the same question to all three people in the field, and your mission is to guess who answered the question right. You're locking your choice, and a correct guess will earn you $100. Okay, guys, put on your thinking caps. Here we go. The first question I asked to David, Marcella, and Cisco. Release your lip from your teeth there, okay. you're freaking me out. Okay, all right. <laughs> finish the old saying. First things, mm. So finish that old saying, who knew it, guys? Flip up your paddles, let me know, you gotta flip it up there, Aaron. There you go. All right, who knew that one, guys? David, Marcelo, or Cisco knew to finish the phrase, first things. Okay, you're locked in, let's see here. Now, Courtney, you think Cisco knows? Yeah, Cisco, he seems pretty intelligent. I right. think he knows. Okay, yeah. let's see if we can get you $100, let's find out. Right. Cisco, finish the old saying, first things, Never happened to me. I've never won anything. I've never been first. Aww. Any radio show, TV show. That's a wrong answer, Courtney. I'm sorry, Cisco did not know that song. He was the wrong, the wrong, wrong, wrong. All right, Aaron, now you think Marcella's gonna come through here? Uh, uh -huh. um, she's, she's an RN, you know? Okay. She's got her stuff right. together. Let's find out, Aaron. Finish the old saying, first things are better when you wait. That's right, first things are better when you wait. I'm sorry, guys. First time I got wrong, too, and it looks like David's the one who knew it. It's uh, audience first things. First. Wow, I think they actually heard you back uh, in New York. Okay, here's the next question, guys. See if we can get you on the board. I asked all three, what is 10 to the first power? What is 10 to the first power? Flip up your paddles. You can keep them up. Don't worry. Uh, go ahead, start spinning. Let me know who knew that that one, guys. What is 10 to the first power? Was it David, Marcella, or Cisco? Oh, knew that answer. We got a math problem here. Yeah, I think Aaron's yeah, a little stumped. Yeah, All right. I, I don't think. Yeah, That's cool. Okay, you guys are locked in. All right, now Courtney, you think Mar uh, Marcella knows this, huh? Yeah, Marcella. She's an RN, even right. though she got the other question right. wrong. All right. But, let's see if know. our nurse. Let's see if our nurse can get it. What is ten to the first power? Ten to ten. Ten to the first power is ten. How do you how'd you arrive at that? I squared root it. Okay. That's the right answer, Courtney. Way to go. Hundred dollars for you. Way to go. You got Let's see if David knew that too. Let's check it out. What is 10 to the first power? 10 to the first power would have to be one. It's one? Yes, it's one. 
That's a wrong answer, and David did not know that. He made a mistake, lady. He did not. Marcella, right, that's feuding going on. All right, here's the last question of the round, guys. Don't worry, we got plenty of time. Don't worry. In what movie did an alien ride across the sky in a bicycle basket? Uh, Who knew it? Do you think David, Marcella, or Cisco knew that? Go ahead, let me know. You can leave that up, Aaron. Don't worry. I'm an idiot, right. aren't I? <laughs> <laughs> um, you got to cut down on the pre-show soda. I know, soda. dude. All right. Uh, <laughs> totally. Okay. Um, Any day now. E.T. Right. Well, you know it, but Duh. who knew it up here? Um, it's going to be David. Oh. Okay, you're locked in. All right, we had a David and we have a Cisco. All right, according, you think Cisco's gonna know? This. Yeah, Cisco. He he's got. It. I think he watches a lot of movies and stuff because he looked like he was doing some Matrix stuff. <laughs> yeah. In what movie did an alien ride across the sky in a bicycle basket? <laughs> ET phone home. Very good. There you go. ET. And how can ET? Si oh, I'm sorry. You gotta do it. There you go. You gotta do it. Sounds like the Arsenio. Yeah. Nice job. Now, Aaron, we're going to see if David can get you 100 bucks too. Let's find out. Okay. All right. In what movie did an alien ride across the sky in a bicycle basket? Uh, that would be E.T., the extraterrestrial. Uh, can you do a little E.T. for me? Uh, please phone home. Uh, they're, they're calling you. It's uh, 10 cents a minute. <laughs> hey, you had David, Aaron. You got it right. Where'd we go? Oh, Where'd we go? Oh, All right, Aaron, winning. you got 100 bucks. I'm again. Nice job. The Courtney's got $200. What is the spirit of St. Louis? The Cardinals. The Cardinals, there you go, St. Louis Cardinals. And who's their best player? Mark McGuire. Charles Lindbergh's pretty good. McGuire's the man, though. Man. Welcome back to Street Smarts. Let's meet our players. Now we have Aaron. Aaron, you want to confess something on national TV, right? Yeah, actually, I had this history teacher back in high school, and okay. this has been on my conscience. Um, he uh, used to have this pointer stick that he would tap underneath your desk when you would fall asleep. Well, right. I fell asleep a lot, so uh, <laughs> anyway, it disappeared one day. Yeah. And uh, I just wanted to let him know that I was the one that stole it. You know, you tapped it underneath my desk one too many times, so, and so it's gone. So it, was, it was me. It was Very me. nice, Aaron. All right, we're going to give you detention oh. after the show. Oh. Now, Courtney, Courtney, you rolled into some trouble while, I, while exercising. Tell me about that. Yeah, well, what happened was I bought these cheap little rollerblades, mm. and I went to go try them out, and before I know it, I am flying down the sidewalk, and my <laughs> stoppers aren't working, and right. I slammed into a phone booth. Okay. <laughs> but you're okay? Yeah, yeah, right. so I don't use cheap rollerblades right. anymore. Spend the extra course. money and get the better ones. All right, well, thanks for being here, guys. Well, it's time to take off the gloves as we start our next round. Who blew it? This time we have the same question, only two of our pavement professors. One answered right, one did answer wrong. Now each time Aaron or Courtney correctly identifies who tanked the question, they get 200 bucks, ladies and gentlemen. That's some good money. And you can earn an extra $200 by using the dunce cap. Here's how. Yep. When you hear a question you think will dumbfound your opponent, smack the buzzer on your chair and dunce them. If they cannot answer the question, you get $200. Now remember, there's only one dunce in the round, so use it wisely. We got a close game, it could prove crucial. All right, guys, here's the first question I asked both Marcella and Cisco. What group was Diana Ross famous for being a member of? Oh my God, Corny Dunst, you want to throw the cap up there, Corny? $200 on the line. If you don't get this, she gets the money, but if you get it, the money stays with you, and she's going to wear the cap. Aaron, hold on. I'm going to read the question. You have five seconds to answer it. $200 on the line. What group was Diana Ross famous for being a member of? Actually, Courtney, it was the Supremes. <laughs> Flip up your paddles and let me know who blew this one. Courtney, Aaron, flip up your paddles. Let me um, know who missed it. Who blew it? What do you think? Oh, Courtney's a little geez. depressed now. All right. Uh, Don't yeah, worry. Right here. Okay. Right here. You guys are locked. Oh, wait. Okay. okay. Courtney, you're locked in now? Yeah, I'm you locked both, in. You both think Cisco? Aaron, you think Cisco blew yep, this? Yep, yep, yep. Okay, let's find out. <laughs> what group was Diana Ross famous for being a member of? The Pimps. The Pimpettes or some, something like that. <laughs> Diana Ross and the Pimpettes. The Pips. The Pips. The Pips. Leave it on a midnight train. There you go. Leave it on. You both had Cisco. He blew it. Way to go. $200 for each of you. Aaron, you're up to 500 Courtney, you're up to 400 You're trailing by 100 Don't worry. OK, here's the next question I asked to David and Cisco. David and Cisco. According to the Bible, where did Adam and Eve live before being evicted? 
So who blew it, guys? David or Cisco? Uh, did not know that answer. Courtney looks like she's staying still. Yeah. And, yeah, yeah. yeah okay, so you're locked in now. Yeah. We have a split decision here. Let's see. Uh, Courtney, you think David blew this? Yeah, David's kind of dumb. He seems like a real dork, so I know he blew it. Oh, he's a Jerry Lewis fan. Let's find out. According to the Bible, where did Adam and Eve live before being evicted? <sighs> Culver City. <laughs> They, uh, they lived in the Garden of Eden. And then they got evicted. And they got evicted from there. Ha ha! He got it right, Courtney! Oh, my like Jerry Lewis from Stupid. Right, right. All right, looks like uh, Cisco's the one who blew it, so let's yes, take a look sir. here. According to the Bible, where did Adam and Eve live before being evicted? <laughs> Puerto Rico. <laughs> the Garden of Eden. Okay, okay, doing it. The Garden of Eden. <laughs> a little south of Puerto Rico. <laughs> $20 for you. Three sure leads, 700 to 400. Here's the last question around, guys. This went to Marcella and Cisco. Marcella and Cisco. What's a snow globe? Who blew it? What do you think? Marcella or Cisco did not know what a snow oh, globe is. Uh, you stay in, Pat. Yeah, what do you think, Aaron? You know, I, I think I'm going to stay. Okay, so you guys are yeah. locked in. Yeah. You're locked in. You're both thinking Cisco. Aaron, you think Cisco has no clue? I think it's no. Cisco has no clue what a snow globe is. Corny, you're agreeing? No, no Cisco way. doesn't seem to know anything. All right, let's so find yeah, out. Oh, come on. <laughs> What's a snow globe? A snow globe. It's a little things they sell in Macy's, and you kind of shake them around, and you know they got all that look in them. Do you have a snow globe? Oh, we don't want to talk about that right now, right? <laughs> like, like a collection of them? No, I have a few. Okay. <laughs> you both had Cisco. I'm sorry, he got it right, guys. He knew exactly what it was. Looks like uh, Marcel was the one who blew it. Let's make out the scores. Courtney you got 400 bucks after the second round. Nice job. And Aaron's got 700. What is Leonard Nimoy most famous for? Landing on the moon. Landing on the moon? Yes. What did he say when he got on the moon? He didn't say anything. I thought he said something like live long and prosper. That's a Star Trek guy. <laughs> is that who that is? <laughs> That's who that is. Oh. Welcome back. Stop horsing around and get into the saddle because it's time to pick your pony. <laughs> choose one of these three fillies for the entire round and try to guess how they'll answer three questions. A correct prediction is now worth 300 bucks. Very nice. And we're going to leave the dunce cap in the sound. It can only be used once, and it's now worth $300. Now, the player who's trailing chooses first. Courtney, that's you. So who would you like to giddy up on? Marcella, because Marcella? she seems, yeah, I think, I think she'll work okay, for Okay, very nice. Yeah. Aaron, how about you, buddy? I'm going to be riding Cisco today. You're riding Cisco? Dun, 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 okay. Dun. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Now, Courtney, here's the first question of the round of Marcella. I asked her, What's the longest bone in your body? Oh, Aaron, you dodged Courtney. Courtney, it's up there, $300 on the line. I'm gonna read it again, $300 on the line here. If you get this right, you're gonna tie the game up. What's the longest bone in your body? The longest bone, I think, is your spine. It's the wrong answer, sorry, Courtney. $300 goes to Aaron, way to go, Aaron. Successful dunk by Aaron, nice job. All right, now listen, you think, you think Marcella? Courtney, do you think Marcella will get that right or wrong? I think Marcella will get it right. She's an RN. Oh, okay, good yeah. strategy. Let's find out. Marcy, what's the longest bone in your body? The femur. The femur, and that's located where? In your leg. That's a right answer. Way to go, Courtney. She wasn't sure. She's like, is that right? No, no, she is. The femur, thigh bone. I don't okay. think I knew that. I was going to say that. Seriously. All right, then. Here's the first question of Cisco. Right. I asked him, who is Queen Latifah? Do you think oh. Cisco knew who Queen Latifah was? Oh, man. You, uh, I'm, I'm thinking, oh. yeah. You're going to think, think yes? I'm, think, I'm thinking, yeah. I'm okay. thinking he's, yeah, well, he's got a tongue we, ring. See if we can get you through the box. All right, I don't know why that would matter. <laughs> who is Queen Latifah? She's a rap star. She's one of the famous rap stars that sang Unity. There you go, yeah, you and I. T.Y., come on, think it. You and I, that's a unity, come on. Work it, work it. That's the right answer, way to go, Aaron. Another has been wrong through. Queen Latifah, rapper, also a fine television host, a great program. Okay, uh, Courtney, next question uh, to Marcella was, in scientific terms, what's a light year? 
Why are you so miserable? You look so sad. <laughs> you don't worry. Don't worry. Well, you can make a comeback here. Do you think Marcella got it right or wrong? Uh, yeah, poor Courtney, me. I need you to let me know. Do you think she got it right or wrong? What a light year is. Light year. She got it right. She got it She's right? She's a smart one. All right, let's find yeah. out. In scientific terms, what's a light year? A leap year. It's a leap year. Yeah. That's a wrong answer, Courtney. Uh, I'm sorry. Yeah. The correct answer is the distance light can travel in one year. Buck up, little buckaroo there. Don't worry, it's not over yet. Aaron, come on. I'm sorry. All right, Aaron, here's the next question to Cisco. Why would someone tell you to take a chill pill? Do you think you got that right or wrong? Uh, oh, sh Nikes. Uh, yeah, I'm going to you know, go through it. You think Cisco got yeah. it right? All right, let's find I'm, out. I'm having faith. Why would you tell someone to take a chill pill? Because they're going ballistic. Wow. When's the last time you told someone to take a chill pill? I haven't. They usually tell me. Oh, you're usually spazzing out? Spazz what, what, show me you spazzing out. What, what are you pointing at? What are you pointing at? He's... <laughs> Put it on, though. You got it right, Aaron. Way to go, buddy. Another three hours for you. Increases the lead. Courtney. All right, Courtney. Here's the last question around for you with Marcella. Where was that little smile I saw before on you? Come on, Courtney. I don't All right. know where it went. I asked Marcella on the TV show, on the TV show Cheers, what was the name of Sam Malone's bar? Do you think she got that right or wrong? <laughs> come on, Courtney, smile and show me. I what do you guess think? she got it now right. Now smile, Courtney, come on. All right, let's find out. <laughs> on the TV show Cheers, what was the name of Sam Malone's bar? Cheers, baby! <laughs> she got it right, Courtney. There's that million dollar spot. You're a thousand dollars now. All Aaron, right, finally a thousand. Here's the last question around. It's That's to you. Right. Okay. All right. I showed Cisco this card and I asked him to pronounce this word and use it in a sentence. Think he could do that, right or wrong? What do you think, Aaron? Let oh, me know. I, I, I'm thinking just to switch it up a little go bit. Switch I'm gonna go with wrong. Gonna go with wrong? Let's find out. Cisco, pronounce this word and use it in a sentence. Mopped. Mopped? Yeah. He's in a sentence. I mopped the floor. You mopped the floor. Oh. Okay, that's a wrong answer. Way to go, okay. Aaron. $300 for you. Nice job. No. Okay. Listen, uh, we would have accepted moped or mope, but he said mob, so it was wrong. You're All right, let's recap this course. Courtney, you got $1,000. Courtney, be happy. Aaron's got $1,900. He's got to leave, but it's not over. When we return, Aaron and Courtney will be making a final prediction on a question I asked to David, Marcel, and Cisco. I asked them, what country did Saddam Hussein invade during the Gulf War? Don't go away, because the only thing more dangerous than a nut with a Scud missile is... The wager of... Stick around! Happening. During the break, each of you secretly chose one of the three people out on the street, secretly made a prediction as to whether they were right or wrong, and secretly wagered an amount of money not to exceed the total you now have. Recap and scores. Corn, you got a thousand bucks, but Aaron's got 1,900 bucks. He's got the lead. Now remember, only one of you leaves with any dead presidents, okay. which means everything rides on this final prediction. And here's a question I asked David, Marcella, and Cisco. What country did Saddam Hussein invade during the Gulf War? Okay, Courtney, you're trailing right now, but you're totally in this. Whose clip do you want to see and try to make a come from behind victory happen? I chose Marcella. You're going Marcella, and Aaron, what about you? You got the lead, 1900 bucks, looking good. That dong, dong, you're going dong, with Cisco. Dong. All right, nobody picked my man David. Goodbye, David. All right, so we're going to say bye to him. Courtney, 1000 bucks, you're trailing. Let's see what Marcella says. What country did Saddam Hussein invade during the Gulf War? Iraq. Invol he invaded Iraq. Yeah. Okay, that is a wrong answer. She missed that question. Courtney, you had Marcella. Did you say she'd get it right or wrong? I said she would get it right. Oh, no. How much is that going to cost you of your thousand bucks, Courtney? It's not over yet. What'd you say? You 500. said 500 bucks. I'm going to take down to 500. You're not out of this yet. Now, Aaron, you're in control right now. You had Cisco. Let's take a look at his clip. What country did Saddam Hussein invade during the Gulf War? Ooh. Saudi Arabia. He invaded Saudi Arabia because he wanted that oil. He wanted the oil. Okay, Cisco actually got that wrong also. Okay, the correct answer is Kuwait. Kuwait was the correct answer. Now, Aaron, you had Cisco, you got 1,900 bucks, you're in the lead. What'd you say, buddy? Did you say he would get it? He got it wrong, what'd you say? Yeah! You said wrong! How much you have your total, Aaron? He went big! $3,800, Aaron is a winner for the bag. Bernie, thanks for playing around. We'll see you next time on Street Smarts. Oh my God. <laughs> what country did Saddam Hussein invade in the Gulf War? Uh, Saddam Hussein invaded um, Iran. 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 Okay. 